Hi my loves, how are you all doing? So it's Tuesday today and it was my baby shower on Sunday and I honestly just had the loveliest time ever. It was so, so nice, you might have seen it on Instagram, um, but it was just so chilled, like we had afternoon tea and played a couple games and just caught up with people and it was so nice because I don't live near my family and friends so it was so nice to see people that I haven't seen in ages and catch up with them and also see people probably for one of the last times before I actually give birth, which yeah, it's so, so strange, but it was just such a lovely day. And yeah, anyway, it's Tuesday today. I was pretty knackered yesterday, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think like a day of socializing, a day of being in heels. Uh, and also I held it back in um, my hometown, so that's like four hours away. So yeah, the driving and all of that, I think just took it out of me, but yeah, it was such a lovely day. But anyway, it's Tuesday today, and I thought, to start this vlog off, I would show you guys some of the bits that I got for my baby shower. I didn't know whether to do this, I was in two minds because I don't want it to come across like braggy or anything like that and like bless all of my friends and family, they've absolutely spoiled our baby. <laughs> um, but I love watching these videos so much and so hopefully you guys like them too. If you don't like these videos, please just don't watch. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I thought I would just show you some of the things that I got. This probably isn't going to be everything because I think I have started to put a few little bits away and stuff and also everything's all in a jumbled up order so it's probably not going to be like I'm not going to be able to go through what each person individually got me so I'll just kind of just go as I pick things out um but yeah and then once I've done that I can start putting everything away this week I'm going to spend some time getting myself really organized I need to wash all the baby's clothes and um, pack my hospital bag all those things so yeah that is what this week is about but anyway let's begin Maybe I'll begin with this box here because it's just like, I just, oh, because <laughs> I've just popped lots of bits in here. This box actually had one of my friend's gifts in, um, but I've just, like I said, popped a lot of random little bits in here. So I will just pull them out as, as I pull them out, basically. So first up, one of my friends bought me this little dress. This is actually from Mallorca uh, and her daughter has the same one. So we're gonna have them twinning and look at these little like frilly ruffle pants that go underneath. It's just so cute. I feel like it's just so Spanish and I love little Spanish clothes. So uh, yeah, that is so, so cute. And uh, then one of my other friends bought me a load of baby grows, which I actually asked for because um, I felt like I didn't have that many in this size. So these are from Pure Baby. Um, so they're like 100% cotton. So these have got like, little cotton um, ball thingies on them. And um, then a stripy one from Pure Baby as well. And then this is so gorgeous, I love this. This is from John Lewis, little strawberry one. <laughs> How sweet. And then a little blue flowery one, which is really cute because Baby has like no blue. Uh, she has a lot of pink, which wasn't really intentional, <laughs> but yeah, she doesn't have any blue. So I thought that was really cute. And then my other friend bought me this little romper from Zara. How sweet is this? Look at the knitted detail. And like the crossover it's so so cute and that's in three six months which is perfect um because that would be like in the winter when she needs this kind of thing um another friend got me this little baby grow from newbie i actually haven't heard of newbie before but a few people got me some bits from there and they're such lovely stuff so yeah she got me this little romper um baby grow bodysuit thing from newbie i love the frilled collar how cute is that uh, and then another one of my friends got me some bits from the brand Isla and Fraser, which is so funny because I was looking at buying bits from that brand on Instagram and I just hadn't got around to it yet. And so when I opened this up, I was like, oh my God, that's so funny. So this little uh, green cable knit card, which is so cute. So that's in three to six months. Yeah, I, I kind of said, um, my friends were asking me like what size and stuff I needed. So I did say I didn't have that much uh, stuff in three to six so yeah she picked me that up which is so lovely and then this little romper as well are these called rompers am i calling them the right things i think they are just the cutest like look at the little scallop detailing there so gorgeous so yeah that's lovely and then another friend got me this little baby grow from the white company the little frills so so gorgeous and the little frilled cuffs as well uh, and also this little cardigan as well this is in zero to three months and I love that. I feel like it's such like, so like vintagey with the little florals there. Uh, and then Sam's sister's got me this, um, again, romper from Newbie. And I'm obsessed with this because 
our wedding was very like um orientated around olive trees because where we got married there was a load of olive trees like the venue had its own olive oil and it, like it was quite a big part of our day like we put it on our invitations and i kind of chose that color as like our um focal color and stuff so the fact that this has little olives uh, branches and little olives on it was just so special because it just really reminds me of our wedding day so i just thought that was really really nice um is that it for oh no there's a few more clothes hang on got these little socks from h&m how cute are they honestly the cutest little baby socks gorgeous and oh i also got these socks as well um which say born in 2023 and then there's like some other little ones too they're so soft and like squidgy i love them um i'll do hang on let me put those there i'll do some more clothes before i get into the rest of that box so one of my friends put together is it a bit dark in here should i put the light on hang on let me get the light on i'm not sure if that's much better but there we go <laughs> uh one of my friends put together this little like hamper this little basket these are just so handy as well like i think it's such a nice way of um displaying presents for especially for like a baby grow a baby grow <laughs> a baby shower <laughs> baby grows on the mind a baby shower or something so yeah she had this um basket and then filled it up with clothes so we have this little jumper i'm obsessed with the strawberries i think it's so so sweet so we've got this jumper and then i think these are kind of matching i don't know if they are but i think it looks cute together these kind of like little flared leggingy trousers with the daisies and the strawberries on i think they're from john lewis um and then we have some gorgeous little frilly dresses this is from monsoon so cute uh, and then this little set here i think is this from where's this one from monsoon as well this little like broderie set with the frilly bottoms honestly these bottoms are the cutest and we have some yellow ones as well <laughs> how sweet are they uh, and then this gorgeous little romper too i love this with the little rainbows on i just think it's so sweet so yeah that was so so nice and then i can use this basket to put bits and bobs in in the nursery my aunties got me some bath salts in this lovely little um glass jar some little socks for baby girl with some unicorns on them <laughs> uh, and then little outfit this is like a piece of rabbit stripy um baby grow with the matching little dungarees i love kids and dungarees they're just so cute and then also my other auntie bought me this gorgeous little romper how cute is that and our theme for the baby shower was wildflowers and these look like all little gorgeous wildflowers so um that's actually from the brand devon darlings which i think is like a little small boutique um so yeah gorgeous 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 um right and then Sam's sisters also clubbed together and bought me this Tiba and Marl bag. So I have like the bigger Tiba and Marl uh, changing bag, you know, like the really quite big one, which is obviously going to be great at first when I need loads of stuff with me, but, um, or if I'm, you know, going to be out for the whole day or whatever. But if I'm just popping out or, you know, as she gets a little bit older, I don't need that many like changes of clothes or whatever. And I just thought this would be so, so handy. And it comes with like the shoulder strap and also the buggy straps as well and yeah it's just a really really nice one i can't remember what this is called but i will link it down below oh it's the inca bag it has so many pockets and it has um, a bottle insulator in there i don't know how well you can see that but yeah just so lovely of them um so yeah that's that one of my friends have got me this little hooded towel with a llama on how cute <laughs> so so sweet so. is it a llama oh it's a lamb i got it like a llama but you know <laughs> there we go got a few books got the hungry caterpillar which is a staple um this one makes me smile which is really really sweet um what else where are the other bits and bobs sam's sister got me one of these this is the no touch thermometer she said this was really really good um because you can do it like when they're asleep and stuff so you don't need to wake them up and all of that stuff she loved it for her kids got a sophie giraffe teether which was actually on my list to get so very very happy with this also got some nala baby products which i really really wanted to try uh this is the body lotion and the body wash and shampoo i feel like the packaging is so so cute on these a little kids baby fork and spoon the bamboo um ones so yeah that'll come in very handy also got like some creams and stuff i've actually got a couple upstairs already that i took up to try yesterday um this is like a nipple balm and 
a body butter for mums. This is the Waleda range. And then I also got these little slippers, which are so cute. Let me take them out. They've got like little rattles on, <laughs> on their feet. So I just feel like the baby will love just like kicking and hearing them. And then I also got this little rattle from Zara Home, which again is just gorgeous. And this gorgeous little rattle too from H&M Home. And I don't have anything like this. So yeah, it's fab to get these bits just to be able to have them ready. We got a few cuddlies. So this gorgeous elephant, this is a jelly cat one. I'm just obsessed with jelly cats. Like they're just so soft like i almost want this for myself i have to try and keep this away from raffi because otherwise he's gonna think it's for him <laughs> but yeah this little elephant there's a bit of a running theme with elephants here sam used to be obsessed with elephants when he was younger so um both people from his family bought these this is also a jelly cat um little elephant too and then we have this which is literally like raffi again a jelly cat the jelly cat um yeah i feel like this is like a mini raffi a little bit redder than raffi just so cute and like I just feel like it looks like him. So yeah, a couple of cuddly toys as well. Um, and then one of my friends bought her some little trainers. Honestly, I feel like I've just been absolutely spoiled, rotten. Like I can't actually believe how kind and generous people are. Um, but yeah, she got her some little New Balance trainers. How sweet are they? Love them so, so much. So yeah, that's them. My sister got us some of the Bamford baby bit so this is like a balm and then oh this is a body powder i didn't actually know that bamford did baby stuff and i love bamford like it's such like a luxurious brand and then alongside that she got us a bamford muslin a little bamford robe i feel like she's literally gonna look like she's on a spa day with this so so cute and then a little bib as well so super cute luxurious stuff like she's honestly gonna be so pampered <laughs> I hope this isn't going on for too long. Like I said, I really don't want it to come across like really, you know, braggy. Um, but yeah, and then my lovely friend Molly did me this gorgeous little hamper in this box of just so many beautiful, beautiful things. Some of the things I have already shown you. Um, but she got me this mama mug from Oliver Bonus, which is just so, so cute. I love it. It's just really like, really surreal to see like mama or like mummy or like things like that on things. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just find it so surreal. And then she bought me, so I basically bought a doll's house for baby girl that I'm going to do up. Um, and I know she won't play with it for literally years, but I wanted to have it done for her. Like I thought it'd be a nice thing to do in like the last weeks of pregnancy and things like that. So anyway, she knew that I'd done that and she bought me one of the Maleg mice to go in them. If you haven't got kids, you probably won't know what these are, but they're so, so cute. If you love things like this, you will just love the whole range. Uh, such gorgeous little like furniture for dolls houses and stuff so it's like a little cot and then a little little tiny mouse to go in it and I actually think I'm going to put this on display in the nursery because I think that will look really cute on a shelf so yeah that was so so sweet of her and I've literally been looking at some of this stuff anyway to like fill the dolls house with so it was lovely to receive that sorry for some reason my nose is so itchy <laughs> Um, and then we also have some other bits. Oh, one of my other friends bought me this book. This is ABC of Kindness, which I just thought was such a lovely book. So looking forward to getting that up on her bookshelf. They just arrived yesterday, so I just need to get them up on the walls. And then we also have some bibs. These are H&M ones and yeah, just fab to have loads of these. They're so, so gorgeous. This outfit is just too cute. So it's a little bodysuit. Again, from Newbie, like I can't believe I didn't know about this brand. I, yeah, I love it. So a little floral bodysuit and then these little trousers. <laughs> Can you even cope? Like they're little kind of like wide leg pants and then this gorgeous muslin fabric. I'm just obsessed with them. That's such a cute outfit. And then she also got me this little picture book from Newbie as well. And this has got like numbers in it. But again, that's gonna look so lovely up on her bookshelves. And then she also got me these gorgeous little rattly, um, jingly <laughs> sensory toy things, which I feel like are gonna be come so in handy. Cause I feel like this is the kind of thing you don't think to get with a newborn. Okay, they probably don't use it like straight away. Probably use it maybe what like two months-ish, maybe you start to use these kind of things. That was a bit of a guess, to be honest. But I just feel like it's gonna be the kind of thing that I'm gonna wish I had. So I'm so glad that I've got them. And they're really, really lovely as well. So yeah, she got me them. And then she also got me this little trinket dish, which says, for every dark night, 
there is a, oh, I can't get it out. <laughs> For every dark night, hang on, there we go. There is a brighter day. And I just thought that was so sweet. And she said like, you know, if you have a tough night and you know, struggling with the sleep and the feeds and stuff, like seeing that by your bed is just like a nice reminder. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really, really sweet. And then lastly, she got me these little stones. So this one says, follow your dreams. And then this one is like this little crystal heart. And it's actually, she's written a little message in here. And it's actually, this is the Malachite. I hope I'm saying that right. The Malachite is the midwife stone, so that's this. And it says, the protective crystal for both mother and child helps ease pains and facilitates a safe birth and positive energy. And I love that. Like, I just thought that was so thoughtful and just so, so, oh, so, so gorgeous. So I'm gonna take that with me in my hospital bag. And yeah, that was so special. So that was so lovely of her. And then what else do we have? We have a few bits over here, hang on. Thinking I might have to make this a whole video by itself <laughs> because it is very long already. I also got this gorgeous little frame as well with a little giraffe on, that's so, so sweet. And then these are some bits from Sam's mum. She got us the Etta Loves um, reversible sensory <clears throat> play mat. So this is really, really good because it's like a big play mat, but it's all black and white, so obviously really, really good for them when they um, are young. So yeah, I won't get that out because it's in a nice, nice neat box, but it looks really, really cool. And then she got me the Etta Love Sensory Muslin Squares. These are so good. It says that you can like um, tie them onto a baby gym or drape them over a bouncer or um, something like that. But yeah, the um, it says our muslins are designed alongside experts Sorry, I've got a hot then. Um, this is a design alongside experts in children's vision so that the scales, patterns, and colours are optimised for babies' visual and cognitive development. So yeah, I've heard these are really good and they come with little clips to attach them onto things and stuff. So that's fab. She also got Baby Girl some books as well, Peekaboo House and Guess How Much I Love You. I mean, this is just such a favourite book. It's such a gorgeous book. I remember it so much from my childhood. Um, she got some very practical gifts. This is the Tommy Tippy Portable Blackout Blind. I remember my sister having these and them just being so, so handy, like especially if you are, I don't know, going away or anything like that and you need the blackout blind. This is an essential. We have a couple like little teething toys. This is um, like a little giraffe teether and then this is like rattle keys. I feel like this is so fab because like I said, like I just haven't bought any things like this and I know that they're gonna come really in handy. So like one of those little sensory rattles. And then she got two little baby Maury um, baby grows. These are in, wait, what size? Zero to three and three to six. So, I mean, baby Maury just do the nicest little baby grows. So I need to get all of this stuff washed today. But yeah, their baby grows are just gorgeous with the zips as well, which is just, so so handy so she got them and she also got me this body lotion from Gatineau. Gatineau, am i saying that right this is such lovely stuff and it's just nice to receive little things like this um for me to have a little pamper with so that was lovely and then very lastly she got me this little cloud well i think it's probably for the baby actually <laughs> i don't know why i'm saying me which says fill your life with adventures memories and friends and that can go up in her nursery so I think, I don't know if that is everything. I feel like I've, there might be a couple bits missing. Like I said, because I did start to put things away and stuff, because it's just been sat in the lounge and I wanted to get organized. So kind of feel like there might be some other bits that I've missed, <laughs> but that's kind of like the, you know, the majority of them there. So I think this video is like tremendously long now because I'm looking at the um, time and I've been talking for like well over 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't know how much more I'm gonna vlog today, to be honest, um, we'll see. But yeah, they are all the bits I got for my baby shower. So very, very, very lucky. I'm very, very, very grateful as well. Okay, I'm upstairs now. This is said doll's house <laughs> that I just mentioned. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like half the size. It is way too big for the space. But it's fine, we're gonna make it work. I got it off Facebook Marketplace. It wasn't expensive at all. It does need like a little bit of paint touch-ups and a little bit of like redecorating inside, but I'll show you that another time. I thought I'd just quickly show you the bits and bobs that my mum got me. She gave me a load of my old books. This book is so gorgeous. It's called Christmas and Extra and it's just like one of my favorite. Um, the Gruffalo, obviously. This was one of my favorites when I was younger. I don't know if anyone else read this. The Baby Who Wouldn't Go To Bed. It's just 
Oh, gorgeous. So it's so funny how vividly you remember books. It just shows what like a good impact books have on you, really. Um, I remember this one so well as well, when mum turned into a monster. And my mum used to have hair, like this like blonde curly hair, and um, it really reminded me of her like, when I was younger. <laughs> so yeah, I used to love that. Yeah, and a book of princesses, which is definitely one for when she's older, but yeah so she gave me those which was really nice she also got me a couple of clothes so these are some little ruffly bodysuits can you tell i love these little neck ruffles and they're so cute so yeah little ruffly bodysuits pink and a white one she got me this little cardigan from i think this is from mamas and puppets yeah mamas and puppets oh, look at the little ears and then yeah little cardi like that she also got me this little set which is for when she's a bit older i think this is six to nine months yeah so it's like this little that looks massive <laughs> that could fit like a three-year-old um it's like a little dusky pink top and then it has matching actually do you know what now i think about it, that's probably a dress isn't it yeah i definitely think that's a dress because <laughs> it has these matching little pants to go underneath but just love the color uh and then she also got me this and it's so funny i said to her this really reminds me of something that she'd wear <laughs> so i feel like i need to buy her a little matching outfit and then they could be twins but yeah it's from h&m it's like this gorgeous little blouse with this is again for when she's older this is six to nine months too little blouse with these little trousers so that's really cute and then she also got i love this so much this little romper again this is six to nine months and it's this gorgeous gingham romper with a little matching bonnet just gorgeous oh and then she also got this little set so this is like this is giving me very like flower power vibes this is from h&m too little flowery leggings and top set which is really cute again i think this is six oh no this is nice 12 months so that's for next year um this is a little blanket that my grandma knitted which is super duper cute uh and then she also got this little comforter which i was thinking about maybe sleeping with like for a bit i don't know do you, you want to do that i think people say like you should like sleep with something for a while and then um it has your scent on for the baby i don't know but it's like this gorgeous really really soft little comforter i think she got that on etsy and then she also gave me some of my old clothes <laughs> from when i was younger that she's kept which i love because i love the little vintage clothes so this is like a little romper and it's really sweet because i was born in august so like the baby will fit into the things that i wore around the right season if that makes sense so she gave me like that little romper and then oh, these are some little tray these are my first shoes <laughs> so these little baby gap converse style shoes how cute are they um and then like we have some little jeans of mine as well so yeah i won't show you all of them because i feel like it's it'll get a little bit a little bit boring but yeah just a few of my old baby stuff and then she also um made me a blanket as well so i'll get that as well in just a second she also crocheted me this gorgeous blanket i don't want to unfold it because i feel like i fold it really nicely <laughs> and it's sat in the nursery but yeah it's this gorgeous like chenille and it's got this little frill on the end there and my mum's not like a knitter or like a crochet or anything like that but she said she really wanted to make something handmade for the baby so it was so so nice and just so thoughtful when she gave me that bless her little heart so yeah they are the bits that my mum's got me and now i'm going to try and organize some of these clothes i don't know what to do because i don't want to show you the nursery yet because i don't want to ruin the surprise but equally what i need to do is in the nursery <laughs> so i might just try and position you so that you can't see loads but you can probably see like a little a little tiny bit my mum also gave me some of my old toys <laughs> this was my little rabbit which she's washing it's come up a dream it's my little rabbit and I, I feel like when you have a kid it's just your mum's opportunity to like offload all of your old stuff onto you <laughs> basically <laughs> but yeah this is my little rabbit that i loved when i was younger and also in here is my little zebra that i loved too so yeah i've got a few of my old toys as well there and yeah now i'm going to crack on and get sorted with these clothes i think i'm going to just start organizing them into size and then like cutting all the labels off and stuff like that and then probably just chuck them in the wash so this is what we're working with at the minute <laughs> it's a little bit carnage in here so i need to like pull all these out organize them into size like i said take all the labels off um and stuff like that I've got all the hangers down here as well so i can start hanging things too 
So this is the pile of clothes. I've just taken all of the labels off and I'm now sorted into like colours and white and I'm going to chuck them in the wash I think and then I think everything else because this is all like up to three months everything else I have is like older than that so I think I'm just going to pop that in the wardrobe because I don't think I need to wash them just yet. So I'm just taking a little break from organising um, to make some lunch. I'm doing a Hello Fresh meal. It's this one. Cajun sweet potato salad with avocado and Greek style cheese, which sounds lovely. So I'm just popping the sweet potato in the air fry now. Okay, that is gonna go in there for we'll do 20 minutes. That is my finished salad. So I didn't put the pumpkin seeds on because I don't really like pumpkin seeds, but we have a bit of feta. Roasted peppers, roasted sweet potato, tomatoes in there, a bit of avocado, and then um, just some roasted croutons that I just did in the oven. I just finished my salad, but eating at the minute is just not the best because I've got really bad heartburn. <laughs> and yeah, just finding it a struggle to eat because it just like flares up when you eat. So I think we'll have an ice lolly, see if that helps to like cool it down. <laughs> Okay, we are getting there with the wardrobe compared to when I last showed you. There's like barely anything up here because I need to wash I've all of the newborn stuff. I'm just going to wash up to three months for now. That's why there's so much stuff down here and barely anything up here because I've got these little wardrobe organisers. I've got these on Etsy but I'll show you this all in the little nursery tour that I'm going to do. Just pop like bits and bobs, bibs and hats and things like that in there for now. And yeah, we're definitely getting there. And then here's a big pile of everything that needs washing. I've also just popped some bits in here for now, but I think I will have like a proper reorganised at a later date. But for now, I've just popped like uh, medical stuff, thermometers, bits like that in there. Then this is all like toiletries, you know, creams and all of that stuff. Dummies, socks, wipes, cotton wool and stuff. Got muslins here, but obviously I'm going to put nappies in this bit. But this is just like what I've done for now, just to organise it. But yeah, I haven't done anything with these drawers yeah these are just yeah empty but i will show you all all will be revealed <laughs> i also forgot to show you these these were a gift from one of our friends for our baby shower and they're these gorgeous little doc martins <laughs> how cute and tiny are they i honestly can't even cope they're so so cute i have suddenly just realized the time and we have an appointment with our financial advisor um literally in like 20 minutes so I gotta go, I will catch you when I'm back. Hi my loves, so it's the next day now and we are just getting ready to go out for some dinner in Manchester. Uh, we're going to Kitten, which is one of my favourite places. But I will show you what I'm wearing. I'm not really 100% sure on it, but I don't really have a lot of time to like work it out. So we're just gonna go with it. Okay, trying to find the best place to show you. But this is the outfit. I'm wearing this dish dress, which is so, so nice. Um, Really, really comfy. And yeah, just nice on the bump. And then I have these black heel boots on, which I'll probably regret. And then I'd really rather not wear this blazer, but it's too cold. So, chuck this little cropped leather blazer on with it. And I think it goes okay. I don't think it's the best, but we're just getting with it. So yeah, that's my outfit. And we're gonna have for some food now. Probably not gonna bring you with, because um, we are going out with Sam's mum. But yeah, just thought I'd show you quickly because why not? <laughs> Hello my loves, it is the next day now and it's like three in the afternoon I think. I've just been filming some outfit videos this morning. I have on this Oleada linen shirt, little white top and then my Arquette trousers. Yeah, I really want to film like more outfit videos and stuff but struggling with what to wear at the minute. <laughs> so yeah, we had a lovely meal last night but I definitely paid for it with heartburn. Um, all night. I've actually, hang on let me sit up, <laughs> I've actually been really struggling with heartburn in the last like week or so. Like I had it quite bad around like 26-ish weeks and then it went for some reason and now it's come back with a vengeance. So I've been like, I've got like Gaviscon in my bedside drawers. But yeah, really struggling with heartburn but it really is affected by what I eat, especially if I eat late. So I've been trying to eat a bit earlier. Um, but yeah, I actually went for a scan this morning because it was a great scan because my bump was measuring a little bit small and um sorry the heartburn like <laughs> also like it's like acid in my chest and sometimes I just need to like 
take a second uh yeah so i went for a scan this morning and it was really lovely the woman doing it was so so nice probably the nicest one that i've had and she said that you could tell that um our baby has hair which i thought was so funny because i didn't know that you could do that from a uh, scan. I didn't know you could see hair in a scan, but she basically showed me like the scalp and there was all these like little fuzzy lines. And she was like, yeah, I think that's like quite a lot of hair there, which is really funny, but I was actually born with loads of hair. Let me show you a picture. Cause I oh, told my mum earlier and she sent me this picture of me when I was born. It's a bit of a rubbish picture cause it's like a Polaroid. Um, I don't think mum and dad had like, well, I don't think, did they have? No, digital cameras wouldn't have been around then. But this is it. I was in the NICU for quite a long time, so that's what it is. And um, that's where I am there. But you can see like how much hair I've got. So yeah, maybe our baby will be the same. Only time will tell. And she was really sweet as well. She was like, you can tell she's got really chubby cheeks. She probably says that to everyone, but it was just nice to like, I don't know, actually visualize her because we never did. Well, we tried to do one of those 4D scans um, at like, I think I was like 26 six or 27 weeks we tried to do one of them and it was just awful you could not see anything they do say when you have an anterior placenta that those scans just aren't as good that you can't see as much so yeah it was quite nice to kind of get a bit of an idea of like what she might look like so yeah that was really nice this morning so yeah sam's mum's headed home now and i've just been doing some filming this afternoon as i said i actually need to go down and make lunch because i haven't had anything to eat yet and i'm starving but i think i might finish this vlog here because i know it's really really long already from all of the stuff that i showed you from the baby shower so i think yeah i think it's probably best to finish this vlog here and then i'll probably pick up another one uh, maybe over the weekend or something but yeah i'll show you what i'm wearing quickly just before we go let me prop you up on something i think you're going to be able to see more of the outfit over here so yeah this is the outfit white linen shirt white um what is this called vest <laughs> i think you can kind of see my nipples so i put nipple stickers on but i still feel like you can kind of see them but it's fine we're just going with it and then these are kept linen trousers that are just really comfy and yeah it's just very like comfortable and keeps me nice and cool because the weather is heating up a little bit now i think tomorrow is actually going to be like 27 degrees or something like that which is lovely um well i say lovely i'm probably gonna moan about it <laughs> But there we go. Anyway, yeah, I'll finish this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.